you get the bag full of stuff. Well, we get a, we, because we're of a sponsorship agreement with them, we get to put some marketing material in there. And so just like direct mail, we need to stand out and be outrageous. So here's what we did. is We used a whoopee cushion, and we, used, uh, we had these envelopes printed up with a picture of this guy with his, with his brass balls on the left-hand side here, and the big headline is, Who's Got Brass Balls? Open this letter immediately to find out who's got brass balls and how you can get your own pair right here at the Super Conference. So, again, we had to get attention. This is in there with a whole bunch of other stuff. It's just like the mail. So the picture gets attention. The handwritten note gets attention. Um, the reason we picked brass balls is because Dan was giving a talk about the quote-unquote brass balls factor you need to have in business, the mentality you need to have. Um, so, again, that was something that we did there. Um, Here's the letter you see here. We took the whoopee cushion and we put it into the fold of the of the letter, um, and, and that's exactly how it went there. That's how you see when they received it. Uh, I, this was a six-page letter plus a seventh-page order form. Um, so we're not going to go through all of that by any means. But a couple things I wanted to point out is we lead with the guarantee. You'll see the very first, one of the very first thing you see here is a triple brass ball guarantee, and then the offer. Of, a, of $197. This is actually something uh, we usually don't do is lead with price and lead with guarantee. But since it was such a good good guarantee and such a good price, we led with it. So uh, again, that's something you need to consider when you're, when you're creating your uh, offers there. And again, we gave away a, a, a premium free gift, their very own pair of genuine brass balls. So uh, completely unrelated to anything we sell or offer. Uh, but again, it, it kind of has that, that, that cool to have factor, if you will. Uh, I still get calls from the people who got these, these free gifts and they tell me, I got them sitting right on my, on my desk to remind me, to, to remind me every single day. So uh, that's our example you'll notice there. We use it as a bag stuffer. You can use it as leave behinds after your face-to-face -face meeting. I've had people hand them out at street fairs, conference, expos where you have a booth. Uh, in fact, I had a chiropractor who used a pill bottle at a street fair, so they got tremendous results with it. So instead of just handing out a slick brochure, they actually handed out a, 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 a pill bottle there for them. So that's our example, and so I want to quickly move from that. Here's another one we talked about, finding hidden treasure in your past clients and unconverted leads. So this was from Stuart Spencer. He owns an ear care center in Laguna Woods, California, and he hosted a weekend event for his clients and prospects. And so what he did is he actually sent out a treasure chest to unconverted, to past clients and unconverted leads. So he had a list of people who had bought, who had come in for uh, ear checks to find out which hearing aid may be the best for them, what have you. And so he had that list of people who hadn't bought from him. And in this weekend, he did just over 80k in one weekend from the treasure chest. So there was a lot of there was some other things going along with it, but he said this was the mar this was the bulk of my marketing was sending out this treasure chest. So you'll see this here that the the, the the treasure chest actually when you when you buy the treasure chest, it actually comes with this box. So that 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 can actually cut down your cost tremendously by having the box come with it. Uh, boxes cannot uh, aren't cheap all the time. So uh, it comes with the box. You'll notice again the postage on the outside, the mailing label right on the outside. And then when you open it up, he actually had this letter. He had a handwritten, well, I'm sure it wasn't all handwritten, but he had one that looked like a handwritten note stick right, stuck right at the top. And what he did was is he actually locked the treasure chest. He locked it so they couldn't get in. And the note there told them that they could bring the treasure chest in and it would reveal their pro the prize that they won. So in order to get the prize, they had to come and have him open it at his event. A very, very smart way to get people to actually come to your office is to do something like this. Um, and so inside he had things like he was offering free products and free this and free that. Uh, he had movie, a free movie and dinner. And I believe the big, the big prize was a free, a free, uh, a free cruise. Um, so if they opened it up and their cruise was then the free cruise was in there, they won. Now, the thing was, they had to show up with this thing locked. Now, could they open it and get it back locked? Yeah, they probably could. I know he wasn't too much of a stickler about that, but the thing was they had to show up locked, and so he would reveal their prize. And this thing did very, very well for him. I've also seen people use this where they actually they, they'll lock the chest, but they'll put 
the, uh, and I'll grab my spotlight here, they'll grab the key and they'll put the key, they'll tape the key to the chest. So they've got, a, again, busy hands, unlock the lock, open it, and away they go. So uh, another very, very cool way to do this. All right. Uh, I think this is my last example. Yeah, it is. So the last one we have here is our bank bag. And I've got, again, one B to B and one B to C example in the bank bag. So this is very, very cool. This is a very, very cool one. So again, that, that no magic in the label, two by four label. Uh, postage up here. The postage on the bank bag is $1.28. Um, and again, you can get that lower with first class, with uh, pre-sort mailings. Uh, one thing you do need to do is that the spotlight here is on the zipper. The post office does ask you that you tape that zipper down. All I use is a little tiny piece of scotch tape and I put it over the top of the zipper and that works just fine. So uh, oftentimes people will ask, do, do these things get delivered? Do they show up? And yes, they do. I've never heard of anyone saying that they didn't get their bank bag. I mean, it, 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 uh, you know, the assumption is that there's money inside, uh, but I, you know, the post office, they get it delivered. So, uh, and they actually get delivered you know, quickly, efficiently, and, and, and just like this actually gets delivered just as fast as any other piece of mail, any other piece of first class mail. So, so here's one that we did. This was a B2B example, and this again is from a, uh, this is a B2B. He, he's a coach consultant, so similar to me, but he's a sales trainer. So he's got his list, and so he says attend the most important insurance and financial advisor money money making marketing summit ever and receive $381 of free sales tools. So a couple things I want to uh, uh, point out, nice, intriguing headline. Now I know this guy, uh, the guy who did this, his name is Steve Clark. I know he does advising in more than just the insurance and financial advisor niche. However, he only went after insurance and financial advisors in this mailing. Again, shrink the universe and give yourself a better chance of having success, as we talked about earlier. So uh, again, here's his letter. This is six pages. Uh, we're only going to show the first one. Uh, he's got free in the head, or excuse me, not free in the headline, but yeah, he does have free in the headline, free sales tools. Um, again, you may be thinking to yourself, free is overused. If not, in every study I read, Free is still the best word you can use. It beats complimentary. It beats uh, no cost. I mean, it beats everything. So free is still that number one word. Um, he's got a little bit of takeaway selling here. So it's his warning. You could easily be locked out because he's only limiting it to, the, to X amount of people. So again, some real smart things there. Now, here's the B2C example. Again, exactly the same thing. Postage on the outside, mailing label on the outside. It looks and feels exactly the same until you open it up and you realize that this one is from the Jay Kinder Home Selling Team, and this is Pecan Valley information you can take to the bank. So that's how he used it, was for a neighborhood. And so those of you in the uh, are familiar with uh, realtors, they like to do what they call farm neighborhoods. So Jay has decided that the Pecan Valley is the neighborhood he wants to quote unquote farm. And quite frankly, it's no different in B2B or B2C or anything. In the B2C world, he picked this, this community of, I believe it's about 300 homes, and he said, I'm going to own this community of 300 homes. And, and by golly, with this one letter, he got four listings. So it more than paid for the, um, in fact, his listing fees paid for the mailing. So, I mean, as soon as he got the listings, he broke even. That doesn't include his commission when he's done with it, uh, selling those four homes. So, again, he picked that community of 300 houses. And he was gonna he was gonna sell every house that went for sale in that community. Same thing works in B two B. If you've got three hundred dream clients to steal a steal a term from Chet Holmes, if you've got three hundred dream dream clients, by golly, get them and send them this and send them marketing that stands out and gets noticed. So that's all the examples I have there, uh, and we will get to uh, we will get to the uh, uh, to the uh, questions here at the end. I promise that. Uh, but I just got one other thing I want to do here. Um, so, what what I want to talk about here at the very end, and then we'll get to the questions, is, and and I'm, and this will answer a lot of the questions that came in. Is that people wanted to know where they could get these letters? They want to know where they can see samples of these letters. They want to know where they can get samples of the products. They want to know where they can get these letters already done. And that's why we've created Keith and I created the Deluxe 3D Mail Sales Explosion System. And as you can see there with that picture, 
Um, it's, a, it's two big volumes and everything else. So I'm going to just quickly go through here and tell you everything that you get. Um, the first thing you're going to get is volume one is the first big notebook you see there. And that's the complete 3D mail how-to kit. So included in there is a lot of stuff that we touched on today, but even more stuff that we didn't just have time to get to. So why does 3D mail get such great results? Tips for creating successful marketing 3D mail marketing campaigns. Uh, again, this is something we didn't get to too much, but why premiums and free gifts will enhance your results. So I showed you the auto repair shop letter with the umbrella and the pen. I showed you our brass balls that we use as a free gift. So that actually can make a huge difference in your response. So how do you use them? How to choose them? What price did you be paying for them? All that stuff is covered there. You also get the top 13 mistakes in preparing a sales letter. We talked about some of those things today about uh, you know how to use a PS, when to use captions, how to use headlines. Um, we've identified the 13 biggest mistakes we see when we do critiquing of, of our customer sales letters, and we've kind of put these into this report. So uh, you kind of use it as a crib sheet, if you will, um, when you're writing your letters. You can almost, you know, did I get number one? Did I get number two? Did I get all the way to number 13? Um, and then we have copywriting, writing for maximum results. Again, we go into great, great detail on how to, how to create these letters. The next thing you'll get is the 350 best headlines ever written. So you'll want to tweak these, these headlines to use in your business. This is something that is very, very important. The headline is without a doubt the most read part of any sales letter. So, and, and, and to be honest with you, the best ones, the best headlines that would have ever been written were written 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. And, you, and you'd be very, very wise to, to not reinvent the wheel and to use those. Yeah, and one, of the, things I want to, one of the things I want to mention on that, Travis, on yeah. those headlines, those aren't just for 3D mail stuff. Uh, in fact, no, the no, majority no. of those headlines, the huge majority, are to use with whatever else you're doing, too, your postcards and uh, your other direct mail, et cetera. You can certainly use a lot of them with 3D mail, too. But that's... Uh, one of the things we co that's covered in this how-to kit, and especially in that headlines and up in your 13 mistakes, is is not uh, those things work both in 3D mail and any other direct mail. Those 13 mistakes, that's a checklist I go through every time I write a letter uh, for my for someone else or for myself. Very good. Cool. Uh, the next thing you'll get there is the evolution of a $10 million 3D mail campaign. We didn't even get to show it today, but Keith's been using 3D mail since 1991 with our new prospect acquisition 3D uh, new prospect acquisition campaigns. Um, it's literally put $10 million is probably understated. That, that $10 million, million is more like I've got one customer that we got in 1993 that's done over a million. So that $10 million is is uh, more like $30 million, but I didn't put it in the name of the of the of that uh, 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 report there because I didn't think a lot, most people would believe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, you'll see, uh, and this is really cool. We've we've been doing this. We've been using this campaign, this similar campaign, for about 15 years now. So you'll see every test we did. We split tested things. We tested different 3D mail items. We tested different headlines. So and then we give you the results of those. So letter one versus letter two. Which one won? What was different about them? And then why we think why they won? And then letter two versus letter number three. So you'll see that whole 15 years of testing done. Uh, the next thing you'll get is volume two, which is the 3D mail swipe file. I say steal these letters underlined, uh, and that hard copy le hard copy letters of 139 letters using 36 different 3D mail products. So these are letters that are completely done. They're written, and you can tweak and use in your own business. So each letter uses a headline, uh, irresistible offers, benefits, testimonials, PSs. You get, I mean, these letters are done. All it takes for you is to sit down at the computer, figure out which one you want to use, spend five or six minutes tweaking them, and you're done. And you've got a done letter. And what makes this even more uh, attractive in my mind, and what I think is the coolest part of this, is we give you a CD with all 139 of those letters in a Microsoft Word format. So you, so you can flip through the hard copies, get there, and read them, figure out which one you want to use, then go onto the CD and actually pull it out and just type right into it. 
So you don't even need to like sit down with a hard copy and retype it out. You just go into the Word document and start editing and making it go. And I mean, I literally, I've had people give me write five, six, seven page sales letters in an hour using our template. And if you think about how long it would take you to maybe to write a six or seven page sales letter on your own, it most certainly would take more than an hour. So um, that in my 